Hi everyone, do you really think that salt is bad for you? Well, if you ask your doctor or search the internet, this is what will look like. Salt makes your body hold on to water. If you eat too much salt, the extra water stored in your body raises your blood pressure. So the more salt you eat, the higher your blood pressure. The higher your blood pressure, the greater the strain on your heart, arteries, kidneys, and brain. This can lead to heart attacks, strokes, dementia, and kidney disease. I realized that hospitals forbid their patients from adding salt. But if their patients are too sick to eat, what would they do to keep them alive? they inject them with salt and water directly into their vein because injecting them with water only will lead to death so the idea that salt is bad for us didn't really sit well with me i started digging deep i discovered that dr Luis dahl was doing a research on sodium metabolism back in 60s and 70s and he did his research on rodents only and he used to give them the equivalent of 100 times the amount of salt that an average human ate. It was ridiculously high amount of salt. And that caused the rodents to have a high blood pressure. And he had the hypothesis that salt will increase blood pressure. And high blood pressure will cause heart attacks. And heart attacks will cause death. But it's a theory. And they start teaching this in medical schools. Meanwhile, if you read other research on human, even a human with severe heart failure, when they restrict sodium intake, they die sooner. What do you think would happen if you eat extra 5 grams of salt excreted through the kidney as urine? No damage done. But in order for your body to be able to excrete them, it needs potassium. Which means, as long as you are having vegetables with your meal, salt won't be a problem. When we consume high amount of salt, our brain are stimulated to make us thirsty. We drink more water, our blood pressure rises. We excrete more urine through which the body expels excess salt. And then our blood pressure will go back to normal. But if it didn't go back to normal, that's because other health problems. Do you know why doctors keep advising us to refrain from adding salt? Because they have been taught that way by the big corporation. And it's not by accident. They want us to stay sick, to keep spending unending amounts of money to cure diseases. After long time of researching the subject, I discovered why people are having high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, kidney failure, and other health problems. It wasn't because of salt, because no one eats salt by itself. They eat salt with unhealthy fried food. And it was so clear to me that the food are making them sick, not the salt. They are trying to divert our attention from the bad stuff it's like hey it's not the pepsi it's not the cola or alcohol or chips or vegetable oils or whatever you are eating it's because of the salt which is a big lie and you won't be able to see it unless you are fully awake bottom line is if you want to eat salty food that's fine but make sure you include vegetables with your meal because eating high amount of salt for a very long period of time can disrupt the delicate balance of your bloodstream, reducing the ability of your kidneys to remove excess water. And if you want to reduce your salt intake, that's fine, but be aware. Loss of sodium can trigger symptoms ranging from muscle cramp, nausea, vomiting, dizziness, coma, and even death. Thanks for watching.